Okay, so how was last week? Hope you didn't make any deep, big decisions until the weekend, because uh, eh, probably wouldn't have turned out so well. But decisions galore now. Again, we have a big, big energy week coming up. Um, in the forecast and so let's get to it. So welcome to this cosmic energy forecast I'm Angela Blaha and this is for the week of May 19th through the 25th Good morning, everyone All right today Tuesday May 19th There's a slight division in the cosmic energies today. Can you feel them? But it's very subtle compared to some of the other days that we have so the energies support your goals. At the same time, it also supports strategies. So spend your time wisely today creating a strategy to move forward. At the same time, creating this bold and ambitious steps, action steps, to create the life that you dream of. Resist your need for instant results today. That's probably not going to happen. Instead, settle for predictability that the strategies that you've created, the energy that those strategies offer. When we create a strategy, we're looking, we're looking for the predictability. We're looking for those aligned action steps. So allow that to actually take place today. Instead of, you know, diving into the ego's instant gratification kind of energy, just allow the soul to let it unfold as it needs to. Also today, use common sense with your money today. Again, it's a strategy that's being supported. Common sense with your money means that it lasts longer. That you feel fulfilled by the money that you spend. Instead of that instant gratification, again, see there's a pattern here today. Instead of that instant gratification of just going out and buying something on a whim, let there be a strategy to it. Is there a purpose to spending the money versus fulfilling an addictive need? You see the difference. All right, moving on to Wednesday, May 20th. Well, it's a day of sensitivities tomorrow on, the, on Wednesday. So be steadfast in your meditation and maybe do it twice on Wednesday because the energies are aligning with shadow aspects on Wednesday. So that dense kind of thinking patterns um, they will be at the surface. And when those dense kinds of patterns, those dense thinking patterns are at the surface, they support criticism and judgment. And we don't want to fall into that trap. So be really steadfast in your practice of who you want to become and who you are. When we're steadfast, when we're like really concise and consistent, there's no room for those things like criticism, judgment, you know, those shadow kind of energies to, especially if you've worked through shadow energies, right? What happens is they get recreated through your thoughts, through your emotions. So if you've already dealt with some of your shadow energy with your shadow karmic patterns, then stop recreating them by falling into criticism and judgment. Because the sun moves into Taurus tomorrow on Wednesday, you will have a deep desire to be around people because you will be curious. That's what Taurus provides is this sense of deep curiosity. Great, right? When we become curious, we either do two things. We hone in on our energies or we allow them to scatter. So be hyper aware of which one you do because if you scatter your energies, you will most likely align with being sensitive. 
an emotional kind of a day. If you hone in your energies or bring your energies um, into your own core, into your strategies for the day, you will most likely desire to be chatty and sociable. Either way is perfect for you. Just know yourself. Because when you know yourself, you can resist the energies or you can flow with the energies. When they try to pull you back into those old patterns, you know how to flow right out of them. So this is really important for Wednesday, knowing how to either resist or to receive. Days like Wednesday, tomorrow, there is a wobble in the energy. You can feel the diversity, let's say, in the energy. And if you do not know yourself and be consistent with your practice of who you are, then you will sit on the fence and you will play both sides of the field, causing a very emotional roller coaster kind of day. So, your choice. Do what you desire. Just know yourself. Know which field you're playing on and why. Thursday, May 21st. What are your skills and talents? What are your skills? What are your natural talents? It's a totally serious question because on Thursday, you will be testing them. You will be testing your skills. You will be testing your talents. Now, do not revert back to old high school, college kind of stressful testing. No, that's not what this is. You're an adult now. Testing means that you get to explore them a little bit further. You get to try different things out with them. You get to add something or delete something. So don't be afraid of when we get to try out our skills and talents. The point is that we know them inside and out. Being confident on Thursday is who you are. We have been expressing how important this is for the last, for at least, at least a couple of months now. And here it is today. So be confident in who you are. If you're moving or increasing or expanding or exploring your talents and your gifts, then play with that on Thursday, but be confident in what you really know. You will seek a deeper meaning to your purpose on Thursday. Do not use your old skills and talents. Uh, do you see where they're coming into play? Do not use your old skills and talents to try to create this new meaning. And you can even ask yourself, what's the purpose of creating a meaning? Because you're just going to uh, move through that and create a new one tomorrow and the next day and the next day. <laughs> you will be miserable if you try to use that old you. We've talked about death and birth cycle on um, Thursday. This is part of the test. Can you actually incorporate and be the new you? with your new skills, with your new talents? Or will you try to pull from the past? So you'll be miserable because remember, you are leaving that old person behind and you're creating the new one. Do not push forward with your old self. I've seen that with my clients last week and this week, trying to push forward with the old ideas, the old concepts, the old talents, the old skills, it doesn't work. There's no energy for the old you there. There's only energy for the new you. Embrace the new you. Become the new you. You will feel the need to analyze everything in your relationships. And of course, the mind will try to relate everything to the past do not bring up those old grudges, those old resentments. No. The mind, the mental body is strong. 
it's very strong on Thursday. So if your mental mind, your thought processes, your repeating patterns are still hanging on there, be very aware of them on Thursday, but know that you're parting from those old ones and you are receiving the new thoughts, the new paradigms. Although, while it can be sometimes useful to sort of fall back into those old patterns, it still will not give you the answers that you're looking for. You know, when we, we've been trained to always look at the bigger picture, to always look at the past. What can you learn from the past? Sometimes moving forward, especially into 2021, looking at the past will not serve you any longer. So be very cautious with your mental body on Thursday. If you can trust your new thinking patterns, then go for it. But if you're still sort of wobbling in that kind of energy, it may likely try to creep and create a trap for you into your past if you give it permission. So be very cautious and be very aware of the mental mind. Know your mental patterns, and if they are old patterns, those old karmic patterns, please release from them. Accept the new you. <clears throat> it's a glorious place to be. Okay, Friday, the 22nd. It's new moon day. Woo! So pay attention to what you're feeling thirsty about. What are you thirsting for? Are you thirsting for knowledge, wisdom, attention, communication, love? What's your quest? Find the people and the places that will fulfill this quest or yourself, actually better, better yet. Find the place within you that actually can fill this quest or you will feel depleted on Friday. There is a real sense of duality on Friday, this inner conflict that you may experience. Resistance to the new self. Remember yesterday on Thursday, you're all about you know, receiving the new self. Well, on Friday, if you don't receive the new self, there will be this real resistance, this inner conflict to the new self. And it will all come to a head with this new moon energy. Remember, new moon energy is about creating the new. Be aware of your judging mind again today. Instead, focus on what brings you inspiration and healing. What makes you happy? Look for the beauty in your life rather than focus on the duality. It's really an important thing on Friday that you see the beauty of who you are and everything around you. It's a great day on Friday to expand or test your listening skills. Listening to your higher self, listening to family and to friends. This will help improve your communication skills. And your communication skills are going to be very, very important in the future. The point of practicing this to, on Friday is to really understand how much you actually pay attention and how much you digest. That's what listening is. How much do you really take in? In order to make important decisions in the future, it will be of great benefit to be able to really listen. It's a subtle skill that needs to be practiced and honed. We're not really taught to listen. We're taught to talk and communicate and all those kinds of things, but we're really not taught to listen. <clears throat> because when you listen, you can separate the lies that are told from the truth. And you can understand your energy so much better when you know what's a lie 
and what's really true because it will help you from falling into the chaos in the future because we have plenty of chaos coming up. All right, Saturday, May 23rd, speak your peace today. So do you see how Friday is very, very important in honing in on your listening skills? Because Saturday, you're going to be asked to speak. It's a great day to speak what you truly desire as the cosmic energies are fully supporting your evolution on Saturday. Feel free to dream about who you want to become. Know yourself so well that you could easily transition to this future self in a matter of seconds. <clears throat> know how you think. Know how you control your thoughts. Know your emotions. Know how you control your emotions. Know how you download the actions that perfectly align and match the highest version of you. Know yourself inside and out and use the language that can translate every tiny aspect of your highest self. I cannot express that enough. Know yourself inside and out and use the language that can translate every tiny aspect of yourself. Come June and July, you will be very grateful that you took time on Saturday to really discover the language that speaks your true desires. All right, that's a big day. Sunday, can you feel the energy of that? Can you feel the, like, it's a really big energy day. Sunday, May 24th, the energies are very peaceful. So we go from big, high, juicy energies to a very peaceful, calm kind of Sunday. Follow the energies and just be at peace with who you are on Sunday. Just be at peace with who you are. Be grateful and appreciate your journey. And be grateful and appreciate what is to come because it's all in order. Everything is in order. May 25th, Monday. Woo! The day of relaxation. Be outside in nature as much as possible. This will help you to unify. So remember, when we become a different level of conscious awareness, there's a unification that has to happen. And the body needs that time to unify the energy, to sort of imprint over the old cells or to transform the old cells is really what happens. So you're really looking to unify your energy on Monday. And how do we unify? We do it by relaxing. Because <clears throat> if you can relax into the new you, it only takes seconds to change. If you can relax into unifying with nature, it only takes seconds to change. Here's the importance of it. You will need as much energy as possible for this next full moon. So be intentional with understanding how your physical body, how your mental body and your emotional bodies store energy like be super intentional and understanding when the physic what kinds of things fill you up and what kinds of things deplete you what cycles of the mind what cycles of the emotion what cycles of the earth the sun and the moon fill you up and what cycles deplete you Make sure you know this information about yourself before June. Super, super important because we have the eclipse season right on the cusp. Actually, if you're hypersensitive and you can see the energies, you're probably already experiencing the eclipse season. You're already sensing things that are going to like 
pull you into distraction, into chaos, and things that are just going to catapult you forward. I'm looking for catapulting. <laughs> all right, all you beautiful gods and goddesses, I hope you have an amazing week. I want to tell you that I'm going to hop back on here and we're going to talk about the eclipse season because it's really, really important what's coming up. So I hope that you rejoin me. If not, have an amazing week. This is Angela Blaha signing off from the cosmos.